Well, here we have Neo Bronx Rumble, map 16. I think this is probably, blow up please, the longest level in the wad, excluding the very next one, 17, which can take a pretty long time if you don't know where you're going. And I don't. So every time I play it, it takes a really long time. Um, looks like we killed all those guys over here. So we're gonna grab this rocket launcher, which opens up this highway underpass. And let's take out some imps. Looks pretty good. Oops. Wasn't paying attention. Nice. So we want to take out those revenants, but we don't want to go that way yet, because there's a drop-off point of no return. Just wanted to pick those up first. Make sure we got everything. Yeah, you're and it's easy to just fall in because it's in the dark here. We'll drop on down. Whoop! 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 Hey, well, simmer down. Okay, here are more gunners. Here are quite a few more gunners. This is just a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Whoopsies. We want to go... I don't know. I guess this is just for decoration, because I have i haven't seen anything come out or go in there. We want to go in there, which means we've got to loop back around and go in here which we do by opening this. Whoops. I don't know how it was possible to miss that shot, but I managed. We'll open this quick. Nice. Okay, and then we've got, I think, like a Hell Knight here. And then the rest is pretty easy. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of this level. I will include this and in my 13 onward is just solid quality remark. It's just a bunch of kind of fights, like a linear, jeez, <laughs> I gotta pay better attention. It's a very linear level experience, but it's got some great set pieces uh, and it maintains that it's very casual, but you still get to murder just a ton of stuff. I guess I've got a Berserk here. Hello? Well, that guy left. Or oh, the Mancubus here? This is a surprise. Stand still? Nice. He didn't stand still, but we still got him. The city streets in this wad, there's a few of them, and they all look so great. It does really feel like you just came up above ground for a second, from wherever it was we were, and you're running through the streets, and then you're gonna disappear into some tunnel again. It's fun as heck. Uh, I like a detail here, if I can find one, where, yeah, all these ATMs can interact with, get some armor. Oh, and some ammo, it looks like. I didn't expect to get ammo from that. Okay, we'll head down this way. Oh, that was that was on me. Can't blame anyone else for that. These zombie men up here are kind of hard to hit. I think we got them all. And then we'll take out these imps. Let's just throw one rocket up there. Nice. Do I need any? Oh, oh yeah, there's troopers down here. And then we hit this button and kind of start, I guess, opening this. But it spawns some baddies. So we'll go whoop them or get caught on the light. Either's fine. Excuse me, sir. Remember to play like ass whenever you can. That's my number one piece of advice. <laughs> I'm realizing a mistake I'm making is just sitting down booting up the game and then trying to do one of these playthroughs and I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with that if I ever do 
a more challenging wad. But it's perfect for this one. You can just run around, run and gun. It's an explore and gore fest. I think the balance is just spot on for this. You just want to have a good time. It's exciting, there's stuff to shoot. But you never have to worry. As we've seen from how sloppily I've been playing <laughs> this whole series. You just can make a ton of mistakes and you'll be fine. There's health and armor everywhere. And why not? Right? Not everything has to be testing your skills. You should be able to just have a good time sometimes. I want to get this med kit, but I'm so bad, I can't even navigate over there. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Nice. Okay, yeah, we'll grab this blue armor. And we'll take out these chumps. And I'll show you the only secret in the level. The only marked one, at least. I don't know if there's any super sneaky ones. But if you look right in here... Oh. Oh. Got it. There's a button in there, but my my always run is messing with me. And that brings this elevator up. Let me see if I can grab one more health. Yeah. Oh, it's embarrassing. And you can grab a soul sphere up here. Or I guess it's a supercharge. I've been saying soul sphere the whole time. Because I'm used to a uh, skull tag back in the day. I'd pick up a supercharge and it would go, Soul Sphere! And then I started calling it that. And I haven't been able to stop. So we're gonna head back into the underground here. Take some damage for no reason. Which is an important part of my playstyle. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Let's just run right into it. Stairs are my greatest enemy. Oh, another supercharge. Caught myself that time, good boy. Yeah, let's just grab it. Who cares? Grab some rockets here. I love these little subway lines that we're running down. This feels like a dystopian, apocalyptic kind of city. This guy didn't die. Okay, coming up is a super fun moment, right after this. It looks so good. Wow, plays quick and fast and bombastic. And fantastic. Excuse me. Finally get a backpack here. Just in time for this next fight, because you might need quite a bit. Oh, there's cells down here. I didn't even know that. Okay, yeah. So that's another point of no return. There's a lot of those in this level. Normally I'm not a fan of them. I think they're telegraphed pretty well here. Except that first one in the dark. When you first enter that tunnel. There's no way to know. You could run right in there. But I think at the end there might be a teleport back to start moment that's really common. In this wad. Beautiful. Oh yeah, and I think some pinkies come in behind you here, so we'll take those out. And probably if you play down deep like this, the pain elemental won't path around to you. Because he'll be trying to get you kind of through the wall here. So he'll probably go deeper. Yeah, see that? I don't know why I shot there. Because I don't know what I'm doing. How are we doing for time here? Oh, nine minutes, okay. It's not too long. This is kind of the penultimate big moment in the level. We've got some more ATMs here, and each one of these gives you a backpack if you interact with it, which is cool. And then we'll just start this parking garage fight. Let's open up the doors, kill this arch file. Nice. And then just shoot some stuff. I don't think anything even comes in behind. Yeah, it doesn't. So you can just stand somewhere and Hold down the rocket button. And you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> I just... I'm, I Maybe I'm too romantic about it, but... 
Just this idea of I'm playing Doom and I'm having a big shootout in an underground parking garage that actually looks convincingly like, oh, I forgot about these guys, like an underground parking garage. What is not to like about this? It's low stakes, carefree, fun, but high energy still. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just having a good time. We're going to come in here, open up these doors down here. And you can get this cyber demon in fight if you want. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Take some shots to the face as usual. It's very important. And then we'll pull out the plasma and we'll take this big guy down. Oh, we missed somebody. I don't want them sneaking up on us. Oops. Oh, that caco corpse scared me. <laughs> I just couldn't see for a, a split second. Something I find really fascinating about this whole game, like just Doom in general, is even in easy levels, like even easier than this, um, I know I'm saying this is casual and I, I think it is, but if you were a brand new player to the game, this would probably be too hard for you because you haven't even learned what the enemies do yet. But it's just so dangerous on average, like fighting one cyber demon isn't hard, but one small mistake could just be the end of your life. And I think that's an interesting thing because you can have levels that are easy, but you could be tricked into thinking that they're difficult because you're just, oops, making some very small, easily avoidable mistakes, but it's getting you killed. I'm just going to use the plasma here because I feel like I never use it. And I'm not going to if I don't remember to. But there, I guess what I'm saying is that there's other games where they're hard because you're more likely to make mistakes more often and you kind of get ground down over time. But Doom isn't like that. Doom is like one hit could do 80 damage and you just made an honest mistake and you take it. And it's interesting, it lets even the kind of lower stakes levels, the more casual experiences, still be exciting. So you're fighting one cyber demon in a parking garage, and that could be just straight up the end of you if you stand too close to a wall and take some splash. Am I even talking about anything? I don't know. <laughs> just, we'll just keep going. Excuse me. Now this part here, if you've played Sunlust, I think your palms should be getting sweaty. Just seeing a big circular room with some kind of apparatus in the middle. As a map 29 of Sunlust, there's that classic moment with the arch vials in the center and the spinning kind of rotating columns that you have to stay hidden behind while you fight a huge onslaught of imps. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is the same MIDI from that level two. Yeah. Oh man, that's gotta be intentional, right? There's no way, this must just be an homage to that Sunlust moment. That's a hard map too. That map 29, that is serious business. Uh, but this is way easier than that. This is, this is nothing. Um, yeah, let's grab this thing, it doesn't matter. Let's hit this button, some stuff will come in through the doors. Arch files will be in the center. But you can just chill back here. Shoot some rockets. Oh, that's awkward. Poor timing on that. Yeah, it's easy peasy. That's good. I guess I just, I blabbed for a while because I was realizing that I throw out the word casual a lot to describe this wad, and I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean like it's not hard enough. And I also don't mean like if you die, you're bad at the game. I think you could play vanilla Doom 
and be at risk of dying just because stuff does massive damage. Like, I made a mistake there, took a Kako Demon Fireball, and what could, that could do what, like 45 damage, 60 damage? Can't remember off the top of my head. So I'm just saying that I enjoy that there's busy moments like this, you get to shoot lots of stuff, you can have some infighting extravaganzas, and the stakes are as high as they normally are. Or one wrong move at the wrong time could get you killed. But when you know what to do, you know what's expected of you in the fight, actually doing it isn't difficult. You know, it's not really asking too, too much of you. Uh, so you can just kind of kick back and relax and shoot some demons, and you should be able to make it through, like, I don't know, 95% of the time? I don't know. I think this WAD implemented difficulty settings, too, which is also so generous of them to do. Blows me away. One level creators do that. We're missing one enemy. <laughs> We're missing one enemy. And I'm blabbing. How did I miss one enemy? Oh, no. Okay, I think we can go back. I wonder if someone just didn't teleport in? It's very strange. Uh, I will cut if I find them. Or if I don't find them. Okay, I, f I found him. <laughs> I must have just walked right by an imp when we came through these tunnels here at the start. That is my bee. My bee. We'll cut back to the end. Okay, well overall, uh, I think that's a great level. It's super fun, front to back. There's lots of uh, interesting set pieces and great things to look at while you're just mowing down crowds of demons. I love this homage to Sunlust Map 29 for the, the more laid back player. <laughs> it's a more palatable experience than, holy crap, that Sunlust level is nuts. Um, but yeah, this is just excellent stuff. So we hit this hit this button here. And I guess there's a John Romero head hidden somewhere that gets murdered. And then we eventually get to leave. Okay, good. <laughs> so it looks like that's by Pier Dolius. Oh, I probably could have not killed that imp and still gotten hundred percent. Just because of lost souls and archvile reses. Could have gotten away with it. Yeah, we're maintaining the quality since map 13 there. Great maps. I, I don't know how you make these better. You know, you've got fun visuals, you've got fun fights. It doesn't need to be harder to be better. I think it's important that we have these highly detailed, uh, inventive maps made by passionate people that aren't explicitly for the purpose of challenging people who have been playing this game for decades. So I think this wad is just so good. So good. And if you haven't tried it yet, you need to. Please do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>